Could the 1964 then Cassius Clay have beaten the present Muhammad Ali, one with the style and the speed and now the one with the weight and the strategy? How would you have fought yourself then? Well, they, you know, like people really, they, they, this is why they underestimated me. They forgot about what I can do. You know, they got blind. They talk about weight. I went in there fighting George Rand about 213 pounds. And this was one pound heavier than Sonny Liston when I was hot in my prime. I wasn't heavy. I don't know why they keep saying weight. And um, uh, I would say that the moving and the dancing, I could still do that, man. Yeah, I didn't want to do that because I would have gotten too tired at the pace. I danced about one round. The first round, I kind of moved. And I was a little too tired for one round. And figuring out I had 14 more rounds to go, this pace I couldn't keep up. And I had to move three or four steps to his one because he was cutting the ring off pretty good. I was surprised he could corner me like he could. So I, if I'd kept that pace up and dancing for seven, eight rounds, I would have had to resolve to the ropes and actually ex exhaustion and tiredness and then probably he would have got one through so I said I'm going to lay on the ropes first and let him throw all the punches and if he don't have nothing too dangerous then I'll stay on the ropes and leave tire out and that's what he did but uh, that type style fighting um, the, the uh, as you say cash is clear 64 would have won easy the 64 style because uh, I would have moved, I would have kept moving and laying on the ropes wouldn't have bothered me like it did George because uh, if a man lays on the ropes, I was just jabbing and back off of him and, and I'll tag him.